breakfast. Hmm. Okay. My ISRO strategy. It is good because ISRO notification has recently come. So I'll tell you. First of all, you know how many times I have failed in ISRO examination, right? So my strategy was wrong. No, it was not wrong. It was partially correct. That is the thing people do not understand after they fail in gate examination or any examination. You did not do any everything wrong. Some things you did right and you have to keep on doing those right things and eliminate the things that you made mistakes in. Okay? I'll pick the full journey of ISRO examination, okay? Okay, I'll explain. I've already explained once in Ranchi seminar last year and it is in Hindi so you will understand but I'll explain, don't worry. I'll write it over here. Okay, see, 2017, my examination was on May 7th, 7th May, my examination was there. So, after gate examination, obviously, first thing you need to know for ISRO examination is that you have to prepare for gate examination also. Same group of examination, you have to prepare for all. And gate is a safe path because if you get nothing, you can get into MTech, even not in, in IITs, you can get into state level. Like qualifying a gate examination means that you have qualified something and you are somewhere. Okay. Now, uh, I had given gate examination in February. The first thing that I did was start preparing for BARC and ISRO, keeping the main target as... Keep, keeping the main target as... ISRO okay so ISRO what you need really need and I thank Anshuman Mehta because he might not be knowing it but he is the one who showed me the previous year question bank of ISRO I was in his room only and from that day the first thing I did was go and buy that previous year question bank and start solving it I had already given gate examination so all my 12 subjects are over right now all I have to do is focus towards ISRO examination so the first thing you need to do is solve previous year question banks okay so what is previous year question it will be year wise right so year wise meaning all subjects are mixed for that if you want to solve that all subjects you are should be over with so some students were asking how to do with isro rac examination you do not start solving previous year questions of isro right now you start solving it in december it will be almost like a test series okay because it is year wise and you should be done with all the subjects my case was different, already all subjects were over, so I started solving previous year question bank. Now the mistakes that I made, I found it on 7th May, first time. The first mistake I made, when I was solving previous year question bank, no, I was having a rough sheet with me, right? Along with me, I was having a rough sheet and whatever rough I had to do, I did it in that sheet and threw it away later. The main problem was that when I was sitting in examination hall, it was a government examination hall in Delhi, June, it was very hot and I was sitting like this because I'm already tall and the seats were like government school class 6 standard seat, okay? So that is the first problem. The situation will not be comfortable. It is not like gate examination that you will be sitting in AC room, okay? That is one problem. You have to be accustomed with that. Two, you cannot do, you cannot have any separate rough sheet over there. You have to do like for example this is your question paper no and this is question number one question number two this is where you do the rough okay in these area only in the end they will be giving you two blank pages and that is definitely not sufficient okay so the next time i prepared for isro examination no what i did is take out the printout okay of sk mandal question bank and all these no you can take out the printout and then solve over there itself okay so that is number one then also through gate examination and all i found out that for isro examination more es based questions were asked all right isro does not care much about concept honestly it cares about like how fast you can solve questions and this is what i figured out so also uh, isro 2000 this 7th may examination no some conceptual question was also there so i understood that it is kind of a mixture around 40 percent conceptual around 60 percent there will be like es level questions will be there all right, so this is what I found for mechanical engineering. You are from IT, EC, so you should be going through the previous year question. And I found this by going through previous year questions only. That is the best source. ISRO itself has made it, so you should go through it and get a proper idea. The first time I solved the previous year questions of 10 years, I think, 10 to 12, 20, 2006 to 2016. I solved it at least six times. 
that's how dedicated I was because I need to know everything about this examination I need to know which subjects are more important which subjects can be left and what is the speed I need right so I found out that around six subjects are very very important fluid mechanics thermodynamics SOM uh, production mathematics this is what I found was very very important and this is what if I actually did the analysis like how many questions are coming from this particular subject and I wrote it for every year and I found that one year 15 question is coming from fluid mechanics next year 20 questions are coming from strength of material next year like uh, around 15 to 20 questions are coming from production I found a pattern so I knew that this is the most important part. Also, I found out looking at the cutoff that you need to solve around like 60 questions out of 80 questions, you will qualify. If you have good accuracy, you know, you will qualify. So I understood how many questions I have to solve. I knew that few subjects are not important. For example, RAC, at least for scientist process, was not important. Power plant is not important. I found out these subjects are not important. And then I focused a lot on these subjects. Now, this is what I did right in my first attempt which I continued in my second and third attempt because this is what I did right. What I made a mistake in is that I was not accustomed with that. Also, obviously, this was not my only mistake. My other mistake was that I did not have sufficient amount of practice. I made a lot of silly mistakes and I knew that it can only be improved by practice. So I started practicing a little bit more. Second attempt, I did a lot of practice. I solved all the engineering services uh, previous year question like second or third time I solved it again. And I solved gate previous year question, I solved it again. I gave some test series also. Because you have to be accustomed of solving one question in one minute. That was my target. Like even if test series is giving you extra time, no. you should be knowing when you should be ending the test. And you should be knowing that this kind of long questions will not be coming. There is no like exact test series for ISRO examination. ACE was making one test series, but it was not perfect and I was not trusting it 100%. Okay. So you should be knowing that one question, one minute, that should be my speed. All right. So that is what I did in the second attempt. I practiced all these subjects from ES previous year question, gate previous year question. That day of the examination, it was 22nd December 2018 itself. Sorry, 2017. Okay. 22nd December, any one of you appeared? 17th or 20th. It was pre-pointed. So I think that it, is, it was 17th December. Anyways. This, in this place, I understood that paper pattern has completely changed. Now, by now, I have solved the ISRO previous year question like 8 to 10 times. Alright, and all my basis of preparation was this paper analysis only. It was completely changed. You had to solve somewhere around 50 questions and you will be done because the cutoff itself dropped to 120 marks. Okay. I got 116 in that examination. Okay. I just missed. See, the pattern changed, but obviously I was prepared so much. Like I solved ES previous year question and everything I solved. No, I just missed it. All right. And if I was lucky that day, I would have crossed it. No problem. But you have to be ready for everything. And that day I understood that, okay, the pattern itself can also change. All right. So next examination was on, uh, I think this one was 22nd April 2018. Okay and I was ready for everything. What was I ready for? ES level questions and gate level questions. Because 2017 May examination was a much gate level question. 2018, sorry, 17 December examination was a much ES level, even though it was a pretty lengthy question, but a lot of memory based questions were asked, right? You appeared. Anyone appeared December examination? Yes. Memory based questions were asked. They were asking material and all. Okay. But and looking at the previous questions, they were mixture everywhere like ES question, gate question, that kind of question. So what I did gave made easy test series for ESC, gave made easy test series for gate, gave ACE test series for ISRO. They were making test series and gave B. I was just ready for everything that whatever you give. And I was ready for easy question, difficult question, memory based question and uh, what do you call it? Just like fast twitch questions, no? That you just have to find the COP of refrigeration and air conditioning. But that also, how much difference do you create over there? I'll solve it 100 times so that I am the fastest one over there to solve that question because I already know that you are going to ask that kind of question, right? Plus, I also knew that some of the ISRO questions get repeated around four to five questions every year get repeated in ISRO examination so I just memorized it I did not know what is the concept behind that compressible flow and all I even remembered the formula just stick it over there look at the advantage I got three marks in four seconds 
and other people are spending so much time or even getting negative marks in that question which has already appeared in the, so that was the exam focus notes i wrote those questions down in my isro exam focus notes i saw it one week before the examination everything was intentional you understand so like uh, this one of the strategy that i was looking for the examination over here was completely es based it was very fast the cut off raised astronomically it was 185 marks from 120 it raised to 185 marks the first time the cut off was 137 120 and then 185 i got 195 over here because I was ready for everything. You bring the cutoff down, I would have qualified over there also. Because this through examination cannot be predicted. You have to be ready for everything. This time also, what will happen, nobody knows. But that is the thing. You have to be ready for everything. If you really want it, you have to do everything possible to, do, to crack it. Right? You got the answer? How I prepared? Any more questions? Sir, we don't have RA subject in Can we apply it? No. No. That's what they say. But you apply. But you apply. Because you will get the experience of that examination. Even in the last phase, they disqualify you, no problem. You apply for that examination. Now it is. They'll let you sit in the examination. No, you'll get that experience. Take it. <laughs>